Yeah, Tony's still not over it. I want some nasty. Are we having fun yet? Your boy Tony Parker is not over the 2013 finals, and I I don't know if I am. Uh <laughs> so we're gonna talk about this. Tony Parker actually had a message for the Boston Celtics, and he focused in on the 2013 uh San Antonio Spurs. So there's a huge difference there in my opinion in my opinion but we'll t we'll talk about it nonetheless now before we do really quick you want to support the channel clan the merch fan.com link in the description for that i'm going to have way more designs soon i'm also going to add just so you guys know pink pink shirts okay i'm going to add that i have a new design coming um and i'm gonna go live when i drop it because I, I need something from you guys that, like nothing monetary okay like no no money or nothing like I, I just need something for you guys but just look 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 just pay attention all right when i say that i'm about to go live please go live with me because I, I do need your guys um help on something all right so let's go ahead and dive into this tony parker's message to celtics after 2022 nba finals loss versus steph curry and the warriors you need to just say steph curry okay steph curry single-handedly uh, destroyed them all right so let's go ahead and move down and as we can see here before the warriors ran off uh three straight wins to close out the finals it was the celtics who held a 2-1 series lead boston appeared to take brief control of games at certain points throughout the series including excuse me um including uh double digit leads in each of the games four through six but it was steph curry who led the warriors to their fourth nba championship in eight seasons god Dude, they're a dynasty all right so this is what tony parker had to say and this is what he told clutch point points for me the way we lost in 2013 it created what happened in 2014 uh maybe one of the best finals in nba history and maybe the best spurs basketball that we played in 20, 2014 i'm gonna say this um 2014 for an average viewer i don't know if it was the best finals in nba history uh i think and, and this is gonna like this this is gonna be hard to say okay i think 2013 was one of the best finals in nba history i i think it if that's what he's talking about okay i, I don't know it doesn't really sound like it but i i think 2013 was one of the best in, in nba history 2014 it for a spurs fan it, it was the best basketball I, i've ever watched ever like obviously i had more fun with 2014 like just just dogging on like we just whooped the the heat badly uh but 2013 was a much better series in my opinion like it was it was more evenly matched 2014 we just kind of stomped like we just stomped them it was pretty bad uh the way we played the passing game everything we were like maybe the highest level my whole career with the spurs it was in 2014 it started with a tough loss in 2013 true 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 we look like the harlem globetrotters bro like it, it looked like everything was rehearsed like how those passes were it was like it just felt rehearsed i was like how do you have this much iq oh my god um moving on for the entire group uh it was uncharted uh, water i just hate losing tony parker said when asked what stuck with them just hate losing i think about it every day for sure especially the way we lost like crazy in 2013 because we were up five with 28 seconds and we were like winning we were wait we were like winning the championship like 99 percent of the time you win that game but we went to overtime lost game six lost game seven and it was a tough way to lose when you're up uh three two yeah yeah it, it took a lot out of him honestly hold on i haven't seen this is this him talking about it play a lot of poker uh in the plane you know with my teammates and so now that i got a, a little bit more time you know i can uh, play in the wsop so it's been a pretty cool experience did you win more than you lost when you play with your teammates yes yes i play like cash games and yes so the, answer, <laughs> the answer is yes who's the, who the worst for? I'm not gonna throw anybody on the bus. <laughs> I don't want to get in any uh, any kind of trouble. Who's right. best? Uh, Zadia. Me and Timmy won most of the time. Yeah. Let's see the poker face. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. He's at me and Timmy. He's not talking about Duncan, is he? Duncan does poker. Guys, I I have not kept up with with the OGs. I have no idea. This is back July 16th. I don't know. Yes, moving on. This isn't what this video is about. All right. <laughs> the way we came back, uh, I'm very proud of that. Shows a lot of character in the team. For the Celtics, that's what they have to do. They're still young. We were old, and we still came back, so they can definitely do it. 
I'm going to say this. There's a slight difference, like just slight difference. Um, the 2014 Spurs, 2013, 2014 Spurs, their leader was Tim Duncan. <laughs> okay. Like your, your leader was Tim Duncan. I'm, I'm not trying to like dog on the Celtics or anything like that. And they could definitely, they definitely have the talent on paper to beat the Warriors or beat anybody really. But their leader, I'm not trying to dog them, okay? And they're really young, so I understand that. But their leader is Jason Tatum, I would assume. I think some people uh, will say that it's Brown, which I think that Brown definitely has a little bit more like spunk uh, when it comes to winning. Uh, but I, I don't know. Tatum, I don't know. I, it's, it's possible. Don't get me wrong. It's possible. Uh, for them to come back the way that the Spurs came back. But, man, you need that leadership there. And you, Jason Tatum's going to have to step up. And they've already talked about, like, possibly trading, or at least they inquired about it, trading Jason Tatum uh, for KD. So they, they've – the Celtics are not afraid to at least explore some things. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm pulling for him, though. Obviously, Derek White on the team. I'm, I'm pulling for him. Um, but moving on, Udoka – uh, was with us in those years so he can definitely take some stuff from what we had uh, to go through i played with him as teammates i uh, had him as a coach so he's been through everything with us he knows better than anybody how to bounce back from a tough nba finals and that's true that's a really good point it's amazing it's not easy in yudoka's uh first year to go all the way to the finals uh, very happy for him very proud of him and what he did with that group is pretty impressive i think boston's gonna be good for a long time i agree with that too they're super young and 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 by the way by the way me mentioning the fact that they like explore trading tatum and, and brown don't do it don't do it. I, I really hope that the celtics don't do it that would be so dumb don't do it i i think i think you ride it out okay you ride it out all i'm saying is having a comeback similar to 2014 man you got to be on your stuff like that that team was ridiculous it, it was I, I know it's it's not this it's kind of weird because we don't have this feeling anymore but back in the day man I, I remember and it's weird saying back in the day when we're talking like 2013 2014 but back then you just kind of expected to win like I watched every single Spurs game um and sometimes I would turn it off in the thirds like oh, I'm gonna go do something else because I just knew we were gonna win like it, it I don't know we, we don't really get that a lot um anymore hopefully we can get back to those winning ways because yeah you just kind of expect it to win but I don't know we'll see what happens all right uh, yeah, yeah this video's over okay I have nothing else to say about it um Tony Parker uh it, it looks like he is trying to give some type of encouragement uh to the Celtics and hey maybe they need it I don't know um, if you guys want to support clanthemerchfan.com or become a patron, a YouTube member, uh, link in the description, only $2 per month. I'll give it to you guys later. Until next time, deuces.